So, uh, Iraq Native Playground. Can you see this up here? I guess it's a bit small. But... It was born out of frustration. Um, mobile development is slow. For me, coming from DevOps and then getting into web, and then mobile development felt like things were kind of going backwards. Um, coming from instant reloads on a web site, going to recompiling a mobile app every time I wanted to learn something new about the API. As a new, a new learner, it was a very difficult place to be. And React Native, for me, changed all that. Like Dan said, we need to work on development tools to, to relieve that kind of frustration. And React Native Playground came out of this, this frustration. It was a way that we could easily um, share and experiment and play around with React Native, something really important when in a early, in a young um, community like React Native. So in the last couple of months, we've been building this site and really excited to show you guys how it works. So here's the site. You can just log right in. I'll just come up to the main site and we see there's a React Native application right here. We can just play it on this iOS simulator powered by Appetize.io, which is an actual iOS simulator running somewhere out there in the cloud. And we can see our, our React application, our native application is just loaded up right here. So let's go in and make a change to one of our styles. We can save it. And we should get an instant update of that style right in the, uh, in the simulator. Loading over 3G, of course. So we also have on site um, console logs coming directly from this simulator, which is another great, really important tool for being able to just play around the React, React Native without a X code, without any other tools of that nature. Um, I really built this because I wanted to build an app with somebody who's an illustrator, and I wanted her to be able to just see the development of the app in short iterations and not have to build it and send it out to test flight and so on. And uh, of course, most apps only have, have more than one file in them. So let's take a look at a feature we just added where we can actually push a Git repo up to the site. So I have this Git repo here. And I'm just gonna run this command with our command line client, which will create remote Git, um, Git repo. We'll push our, push our Git repo up there make it a little bigger. And with a client, we can just open this up right on the site. And we can play it. This is the sample movies app from the React Native uh, repository. And now we have this app running here. We can see the red background, because I uh, went into one of these files here and edited it up on the site. So this is a way that we can share applications and, and make changes to them really quickly, get feedback on them. This is one of the use cases for this. But of, of course, React Native is about uh, native devices, so if we want to try to bring up uh, <laughs> one more thing. See if this works. Yeah. So we, we put an app up in the, uh, the iOS App Store. It's available called the React Native Playground, which actually is running React Native 05 and is loaded up with a bunch of community modules for doing things like video players and so on. And we can load that up right here with this QR code. And we'll see on my phone here. On the first load, it takes a while to load up, but then it stays cached, so then we can make changes to it and keep reloading it as needed. Yep. It's not disconnected. And there we go. We have the app running here on the device. Yeah. And that's yeah, one last thing I just wanted to show. Also in the React Native documentation, we've integrated this directly with the documentation. So there's a lot of other use cases for things like this, and we want feedback from you guys to figure out how we can best make this site useful for developers. Uh, this is an example of the alert iOS component from React Native. You can click on it here, and then you can just play with it right here on the site. You can actually fork this repository and play with it and pull it down with Git as well. 
So uh, I just wanted you guys to give a, a round of applause for, not for me, but for this great team who came together and built this site in, in less than a month. So thank you.